Welcome to a periscope. I just have to cross the road safely. Excuse me. Um, Moira, Moira, hello out in McCroom in Ireland. Stationary Gypsy, hello. Thank you very much for coming. You're back. Oh, it's better. The sun is brighter, though I can't see very easily who's with me. Um, I don't know if I turn around that way. No, Ian Bullock. Thank you, Ian. Thank you very much. Paige, hello. Hello, thank you for coming here. I'm going to take you to a bookshop, guys. I thought to myself, well, I'm the son of a bookshop owner. You're in Glenmire with Shirley. Moira's in Glenmire with Shirley. Oh, scheming, no doubt, scheming. Mary Beth, hello, hello. Thanks for coming. Main Street in Cork in Ireland, guys. Main Street in Cork. This is, this is the center of Cork City. Small city, 130,000 people. Pensive, oh no, don't know, that's a, somebody talking to Pensive. Oh, you should definitely try to get Pensive on your scopes because he's a, he's a very talented and thoughtful individual and uh, great with words and lots of other things. He's just a really nice guy. Here's Waterstones Bookshop. I see they've left the apostrophe off. Once upon a time I was told that when you use capital letters, you leave off the, um, you leave off the apostrophe. i kind of forgotten which is correct now. Um, I'm going to, uh, first of all, I'm going to do a little window. My grandfather set up a bookshop in Limerick in 1902. Just to tell you, I do have a, a bit of knowledge and vested interest in the success of bookshops. I see a book in this window which I really would like to read. John Cleese's autobiography. Carl, hello. That's one I'd like to read. John Cleese's autobiography. In case you've never heard of him, he is the person from, oh dear, Mary Beth, you worked in a bookshop and it closed. Well, are you a jinx, Mary Beth? Were you the jinx on the shop? What did you do? Give away all the books to your friends and the bookshop went? Forgive me now, I'm only joking in case you, you think so, yeah. John Cleese is uh, The Life of Brian and John Cleese is a number of other things, but you know, blessed are the cheese makers. Monty Python. Thank you very much. Uh, something else here in the window that I would like. I mean, I could show you any book. Who's never heard of Monty Python? A good lot of young people, I suggest. I mean, I know people of a certain age. Bernard Eno, The Rise, The Fall and Rise of French Cycling. Yeah, I kind of have a thing about cycling, professional cycling. Hello, Nantasan. Hello, uh, Nanta. Uh, forgive me now, I'm going to stick my neck out and say, is that Valerie? And you're 13, and you've heard of Monty Python somehow. Wow. Alistair Campbell, I, oh, thank goodness I got that right. Tony Blair's side mate. Hmm. Let me just see what else I can show you. Ah, no, this is interesting. In the front of, oh, I've read Ian Banks. I've read, um, I've read a couple of things by Ian Banks. Here's James Joyce in the, uh, in the window. James Joyce. Anybody know what James Joyce wrote? Of course you do, of course you do. All Irish people are disqualified. Vice the old gal. All Irish people, oh right, and you're Mary Beth, you're not Irish. Well done, well done. Here we have now a second one, and Irish people are allowed to comment on this. Frank O'Connor. In fact, you'll be reminding me of something I've forgotten now, if any person can think of what Frank O'Connor has written. Very uh, successful Irish writer, dead now, but uh, he has, he's a marvellous short story writer, a marvellous short story writer, but I can't think of, of uh, Frank O'Connor's thing. Okay, let me give you this guy now. You want to be a starship when you grow up, right? Now, I don't think you recognize him. I mean, so I'm going to tell you who he is, and I don't think you read. This is Franz Kafka. 
Anybody care to tell me who is, what has Franz Kafka written? What has Franz Kafka written? Just one of his books would be enough. That's all, Franz Kaf Kafka. Hello, RG, that is definitely, yes. Okay, Caligeros, yes, Caligeros. Anybody good on Franz Kafka? Metamorphosis, I see it there, Metamorphosis. Right, okay, right. Let's go across here to somebody. Um, if you're over 50 years of age, you're disqualified from answering this question, right? Man's name Jack Kerouac. If you're over 50, you're disqualified. Or everybody under 50 can answer this question. On the road, under 50, and you know, wow, that's very good, very good. Okay, I'm I'm going to go into the shop in a minute. Now here is Roald Dahl. Here is Roald Dahl. Roald Dahl. Give me a Roald Dahl book, somebody. Give me a Roald Dahl book. Matilda, hello, very, very good. This is going to get a little bit harder now. I'm going to go to this one. Anthony Burgess, Anthony Burgess. Now, Anthony Burgess. Oh yeah, James and the Giant Peach, another, another really good Roald Dahl book. There we are. Now, Anthony Burgess. Anyone good on Anthony Burgess? I read a fat book by him, a clockwork, a clickwork orange, a clockwork orange. The BFG was written by, uh, good, two people have got that one. I don't suppose anyone's read Earthly Powers, but that's another Anthony Burgess book. Now, where am I going to here? God, I don't know any book by this guy, H.P. Lovecraft, Lovecraft, H.P. Lovecraft. In fact, I'll go so far as to say I've never... Hang on a second. Did I mix up Anthony Burgess and King, Kingsley Amos? Oh, God, I might have mixed up Anthony Burgess and Kingsley Amos. Okay, I'm going to leave Lovecroft. That's the... Oh, my God. Shulhu person. God, I don't even know the Shulhu, I'm afraid. Okay, I got somebody to learn about then. The Ancient Gods. Oh, okay. Okay, right. Here's somebody now. Anybody know books by Anthony Bird? Anthony, what, what am I talking about? Kingsley Amos. Kingsley Amos. Other than Earthly Powers, which I've now decided. Ah. Hero Viter. Hero Viter. Okay, right. Well, you definitely got me on that one. Totally. Um, okay. A horror writer. All right, okay. Lucky Jim. Yeah, thank you, Lucky Jim. Perhaps his most uh, famous book. Ah, uh, here's one now, especially for people. Dorothy Parker. Dorothy Parker. And I personally can't remember a book by Dorothy Parker, but she's very highly regarded, and I can't remember what she's written, and I've never read anything by her other than short quotations or something like that or summaries of her ideas and that's so long ago any thoughts on Dorothy Parker I should stop this shouldn't I this is a what fresh hell is this how she answered the telephone all right the vicious circle joy I'll have to say I don't know uh, some great portrait photos Dorothy Parker that's correct I'm quite sure that's right but I can't remember what she wrote okay I'm gonna do one more I'm just trying to think who I'll do okay let's try this one at least I can get somewhere with this one myself Albert Camus Albert Camus I think she did poems Do ah yes yes you're right yes Dorothy Parker wrote poetry that's correct Okay, The Stranger, yes. Ah, uh, but you can't make a thing. Oh, wow. The Stranger, yes. L'Etranger, L'Etranger. Absolutely. I read a few books by Albert Camus. Okay, I'm going into the shop, guys. I'm going into the shop. I, I'm going to speak very quietly in the shop. I don't really want the shop to get anxious.
absolutely I might lose signal. So if I disappear, I've lost the signal. Now I did record an interview here. I may have Wi-Fi. Mm, don't think so, but you never know. These are newly published here in Ireland. Can I go to, yes I can. Hold on a second, I'm going to see if they have any graphic novels. Comedy, do you mean um, graphic novels? Do you mean, where would I see? Let me ask this man. Excuse me, is there a place where I'd find comic novels or graphic novels? Yeah, yeah, there is, just where, around the corner. Just around the corner, great, yes. great. Are you looking for something in particular? No, 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 just to see what you have. I actually wanted to see what graphic novels you had. Yeah, yeah. I know they're not all funny. No, but uh, no. I would just like to see, here, yeah, and then there's a whole section around here. graphic novels. And is there comedy as well? Is there such a thing as comedy? There probably isn't, is there? Like there's a humor so huge. section. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there is a humor section is there? around here, but oh. there wouldn't be graphic novels. No, 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 no. I know the graphic novels can include some really serious ones. Oh, great. That's perfect. Thanks a million. Thanks a million. Yeah. Here's one you might be interested in. Buy the Cleves book and read it. Oh, right. I've become very interested in, in uh, This is a good one, I think. Did you see a Tim Vine book? Hang on a second, I've got to look and see. Who on earth is Tim Vine? I don't know. Okay. Don't even know where to look, to be honest. Here you are. This is essential reading for you all. Essential reading, I suggest. In fact, it's probably named, I think it should be called How to Be a Better Lover. I think we could all experience a bit of that. Oh, this is nice. I like this, this, um, I like this series. There are other ones. Whoever is writing in Arabic, thank you so, so much for being here. You're the very first person who's written Arabic on my, on a scope of mine. This might be interesting. Das Krapital. Rajus. Pofanisaurus. You love monkey, right? Here are the other books by Edward Duncan. I, I like him a lot. I like, I like this book. I think I might have this one. Bobby, hello. Hello, I'm in a bookshop. Just uh, having a bit of fun with type and color. Hello, welcome. Thanks for coming. And uh, I suppose I... Now, would anybody else have another genre you'd like be... Uh, Oh, here we are.